everyone, this is The Rich Life. I'm your host, Michaela, and today we are talking about Blackpink, so let's get started. Blackpink is a South Korean girl group formed by YG Entertainment. Blackpink began forming when YG Entertainment held trials worldwide for teenage recruits to create a new girl group after launching its first major girl group, 2NE1, in 2009. According to the members, joining the label as trainees was similar to enrolling in a full-time pop star academy, with Jenny describing the experience as more strict than school, and Rose comparing it to the X Factor with Dora. Rooms. For members who had left their lives outside of South Korea, pace of training with the culture shock was especially difficult. Preparations for Blackpink's debut started as early as 2011, when YG Entertainment revealed on November 14th that their new girl group would debut in the early half of 2012, and feature at least seven members. Since then, numerous news and rumors surfaced around the new girl group's debut being pushed back, although there had been no official information. It wasn't until May 18th, 2016, when YG Entertainment confirmed the girl group would showcase that July, stating that the members were selected through years of stiff competition. Jenny was the first group member revealed on June 1st, 2016. She joined YG Entertainment as a trainee in 2010 after moving back to South Korea from New Zealand. She had been introduced to the public for the first time in 2012 in a photo titled, Who Is That Girl? On YG Entertainment's website on April 10th, Jenny continued to be promoted as a member of the new girl group through multiple collaborations. She starred in G-Dragon's 2012 music video for That XX from his one-of-a-kind EP. Lisa was revealed as the new girl group's second member on June 8, 2016. She was the only individual among 4,000 applicants to pass the 2010 YG Entertainment audition in her native country, Thailand, and became the label's first foreign trainee in 2011. She was first introduced in May 2012 in a video that was posted on YG Entertainment's YouTube channel titled, Who's That Girl? Lisa also appeared in the music video for Taeyang's Ringa Linga in 2013. She became a spokesperson for streetwear brand Nona Nyon in 2015 and cosmetic brand Moonshot 2016. Jisoo was revealed to be the new group's third member on June 15th, 2016. She joined YG Entertainment as a trainee in July 2011 and appeared in several advertisements for music videos in her pre-debut years, including Spoiler Plus Happy Ending from Epic High's studio album Shoebox and Hi Si Young's music video I'm Different. She also made a cameo appearance in the 2015 drama The Producers. Rose was the final member to be revealed on June 22nd, 2016. She ranked first among 700 applicants in the 2012 YG Entertainment audition in Australia after which she signed a trainee contract with the label and moved to Seoul to begin training. She featured in the G-Dragons track Without You from One of a Kind, credited as question mark from YG New Girl Group, until her official public introduction. In the same year, YG Entertainment confirmed that the New Girl Group would have four members instead of the originally planned nine and revealed its official name as Blackpink. According to the label representative, the group's name meant pretty isn't everything and symbolized that they are a team that encompasses not only beauty, but also great great talent. Blackpink released their first dance practice video on July 6th, which garnered much public attention. On June 22nd, the group released their first standalone digital single, As If It Was Your Last. It was described as a mixed genre of music and a change of sound from their previous releases. The song peaked at number 3 on the Gaiyong Digital Chart and number 13 on Billboard Bubbling Under Hot 100 Chart, which gave them the highest charting Korean song by a group in America at the time, and made Blackprint the highest charting Korean group since Wonder Girls in 2009. It also debuted at number one on Billboard's World Digital Song Sales chart one day after release, making it their third number one hit on the chart. The music video for the song later went to break the record for the most liked music video by a Korean girl group on YouTube, as well as the most viewed K-pop group music video in the first 24 hours of release. On July 20th, 2017, Blackpink held a showcase at Nippon Budokan in Tokyo, which was attended by more than 14,000 people, with as many as 200,000 people trying to purchase tickets. The group made their Japanese debut on August August 30th, 2017 with the release of their self-titled Japanese extended play that included Japanese versions of their previous singles. The EP debuted and peaked at the top of the Oricon album's chart. Blackpink ranked among YouTube's global top 25 songs of the summer for 2017 with As If It's Your Last. Playing With Fire was Blackpink's second single to reach number one on the Billboard World Digital Song Sales chart and the first K-pop girl group song to reach the chart on the Canadian Hot 100. In South Korea, Playing With Fire peaked at number three while Stay placed in the top 10. Blackpink's commercial success in their first five months earned them several rookie awards at major Korean year-end music award shows. Additionally, Billboard named them one of the best new K-pop groups of 2016. In South Korea, Blackpink have been brand ambassadors or spokesmodels for Adidas, Luxury Hotel, Resort Paradise City, contact lens brands Olin's. In July 2018 and August 2020, the group ranked first among all artists in brand reputation based on analysis by the Korean Reputation Research Institute making them the 
only female act to do so. In May 2017, Blackpink became honorary ambassadors for custom service company Ichion Main Customs. Banners and videos featuring their images would greet foreign travelers at Ichion International Airport. In April 2018, Blackpink began advertising Sprite Korea. In January 2019, the group became the face of Worry Bank. The group also endorsed and collaborated with other high-end brands, such as sportswear brands Puma and Reebok, luxury fashion houses Louis Vuitton and Dior Cosmetics, handbag brands St. Scott London, and department store Shibuya 109. Blackpink also released merchandise in collaboration with Tokyo Girls Collection, Cecile McBee in Japan. On January 6, 2018, Blackpink released their first episode in their first reality show, Blackpink House, which comprised 12 episodes released throughout 2018, following the four members spending 100 days of vacation as they moved into their new dorm via their official V-Line and YouTube channels. On March 28th, Blackpink re-released their debut Japanese EP under the name RE Blackpink. The lead single, Didu Didu Didu, picked at number one on the digital downloads, streaming, and mobile charts on Gaeong for three weeks, while Forever Young peaked at number two. Both songs were certified platinum by the KMCA for surpassing 2.5 million downloads and 100 million streams in the country. YouTube's official tally saw the music video for Do 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 garner a total of 36.2 million views within 24 hours after its release, making it the most viewed video online in the first 24 hours by a Korean act and the second most watched music video of all time in the first 24 hours of its release at the time. In October 2018, the group signed with Interscope Records in a global partnership with YG Entertainment. They were to be represented by Interscope and Universal Music Group outside of Asia. In November 2018, Blackpink announced additional tour dates for their In Your Area World Tour, which covered 13 dates across Asia from January to March 2019. Janie made her solo debut with her single Solo at Blackpink's Soul concert on November 11th. Both the song and its official music video were released the following day. Their first Japanese studio album, Blackpink In Your Area, was made available digitally on November 23rd and physically on December 5th. The album included Japanese versions of all their previous releases and debuted at number 9 on the Oricon Albums chart. On October 19th, 2018, English singer Dua Lipa released Kiss and Make Up with Blackpink, a new track on the re-released edition of her self-titled debut album. Kiss and Make Up became their second entry in the UK singles chart, peaking at number 36 and their first top 40 entry. In Asia, Blackpink endorsed Samsung, working with the company on multiple campaigns to promote its electronics products. In December 2018, Blackpink donated their prize money from L Style Awards 2018 worth around $16,000 to low income and single parent households in South Korea. In April 2019, Blackpink made a donation of around $33,000 to the Hope Bridge Association of the National Disaster Relief for the victims of the Goshong wildfire in South Korea. Doing the same in March of this year by donating $380,000 to pay for the damage repair caused by the wildfires happening in Gaewang and Gyeongbuk. In December 2020, the group called for action on climate change and promoted the 2021 United Nations Climate Change Conference. On February 25th, 2021, Blackpink were formally appointed official advocates for COP26 in Seoul. On October 23rd, 2021, the group was a part of the lineup for the YouTube original special entitled Dear Earth, which focused on encouraging viewers to become more environmentally conscious. On July 6th, 2022, YG Entertainment announced that Blackpink was in the final stage of recording for a new album with plans to record a music video in mid-July and release a new song in August. They also confirmed that the group would embark on their second world tour at the end of this year. On July 12th, YG Entertainment revealed that Blackpink would hold a virtual in-game concert in PUBG Mobile from July 22nd to July 30th. Now lastly, what about their net worth? Well, Jenny's net worth is $10 million, Lisa's is $14 million, Rose's is $18 million, and Jisoo's is $20 million. Holy that's a lot of money. And that's Blackpink. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.